<sighs> Have you ever had a moment where you're in that exam, you're sat down, and you're in the zone, you're doing the exam, you're writing, you're writing, you're writing, and then you get to this one question, and you just can't leave it alone. You can't figure it out. Your mind starts only focusing on this one question, trying the, your hardest to actually figure out what the answer is, and then you look up at the time and you realize it's over. The exam's done, and you still got half the test left that you haven't finished. But then you realize it's not just this exam, it's everything else. Within your daily life, there are moments where you just can't stop thinking about this one thing that happened. Whether it was an awkward moment with, with friends or that social group. Whether it's something with your relationship. Whether it's just something so tiny and minute, you just can't stop thinking about it. Your mind is so restless, you can't calm your thoughts. This was my life on a daily basis, and it was stressful. So stressful. My mind just always being restless, always thinking about something or maybe just only think about one thing or maybe trying to think about everything my mind was always a, just kind of racing it was especially during my a-levels i genuinely sometimes don't know how i dealt with it like i look back and i think what the fuck how did i actually get through that but i did get through it and i'm going to reveal to you the secrets how in this video and the last one is the most important First things first, how are you? I hope things been good and I hope you've been alright. Getting straight into the video, the first one is engage in physical activity. Doing something physical, like maybe a sport, or literally, literally a run, like a 20 second run, can literally shut off your mind and your mind will think about something else. It will calm your thoughts. And I think the run, the sprint is the best one. Whenever I'm like really stressed or like I'm thinking about, overthinking about like one single thing, I'll literally get up from my chair and I'll be like, alright, get out of your house, 20 second run. And then it turns into like a minute to like 20 minutes run. Just sprinting like the whole way just across the road. And I finish and I'm feeling like, oh my god. I feel so energized as if I could literally conquer the world. Going on a, on a sprint or any sort of like physical activity when your mind is racing, not only does it calm your thoughts, but you get a huge testosterone boost from it. You feel so energetic. And you also get a huge dopamine bo boost from this. And not like cheap dopamine. You're getting good dopamine into your system. The second one is meditation. Practice mindful meditation. There have been times where I've literally been so stressed. Literally, for example, today, I was kind of worried about like what time I was getting home. You know, I was at the gym and I was like, it's late, I gotta record. Like, fuck, oh man, I've got so many things to do. I got on the treadmill, I ran, I did my I did my running, but then I also closed my eyes and I just started breathing in with my nose and out with my mouth, focusing on one thing, one phrase, stay consistent. That's the phrase that I focus on when I'm meditating. It helps me calm my thoughts. So like when you're meditating, the whole aim when you meditate is to focus on one phrase, breathing in with your nose, out with your mouth, with your stomach, not your chest, so you're taking a big, big, deep breath into your stomach. So you're closing your eyes, or you can keep them open, it's whatever you like. You're taking big, deep breaths. You're focusing on one single phrase. And anytime your mind does drift off, it starts thinking about all those other random thoughts. You bring it back to that one phrase that you're thinking of. It could be anything for you. I chose to stay consistent, but it could be anything for you. Now, every time your mind drifts off and it comes back and you bring it back, that's like a bicep curl for your brain. Practicing meditation and mindfulness. Now the reason why this is super, super good is because it helps your mind become a lot more present in the current moment. Literally, anytime I'm like overthinking or I'm stressed about something, I literally sit down, I will close my eyes, I will take a deep breath, focusing on my one phrase. After five minutes, I'll open my eyes and I will completely forget why I'm meditating. I was like, what was I worried about again? I don't know, but I feel really good. I feel so at ease, at present with this one current moment in time. I feel so good. So practice meditation. 
I just gave you a little quick rundown on how to meditate. So <laughs> there are lots of lots of longer videos as well, which you can search, which can give you a much, much more in-depth video on how to meditate well. But what I just said is basically the rundown of what I do. Third one, nature. Oh my God, this is the best thing you can do. There have been times where I'm literally, especially during A-levels, so stressed. My mind is thinking about like, what happens if I fuck up? What happens if things don't go well? Even though it was at my mocks, I put down my revision or my textbooks. I just go outside and walk in nature. I'm very lucky I live in a countryside, so I've got woods all around me. So I am very, very lucky. I can just literally just walk to the woods. I'd sit in nature, I'd look up to the clouds, I'd look to the sky, look at the trees, the grass moving in the wind, and then I'd close my eyes and listen. I'd hear the birds, spend time in nature. It literally feels like time stops for a moment. There are so many benefits to nature. Not only are you breathing fresh air, which is revitalizing your cells and your energy, but you are so at ease. It's like time stops and you're so peaceful in that moment in time and you're so mindful of just to be relaxed genuinely there are so many benefits to nature even if you spend only 30 minutes a day there have been times where i'm up in the morning and i've had a shit morning shit all day right in the evening when the sunset is there i'll go out and watch the sunset and i will suddenly feel like i've had the best day ever despite feeling shit the whole day that's how much of a difference it makes like five minutes just spending slightly more time in nature. Four, podcasts. Listen to your favorite podcasts. This is a unique one. This is a very unique one. I've not seen many channels talk about this, but the reason I say this is because there have been times where I'm literally driving, right? This is when I listen to podcasts. I'll listen to like Hamza's YouTube videos or his Spotify or Andrew Huberman or the, his channel known as the Huberman, Huberman, Huberman Lab. And I'll listen to his whole two-hour podcast, just talking about self-improvement, the science behind it, the science behind dopamine detox, cold showers, meditation. And I'll just listen and I'll just, not only and I'm, am I listening and it kind of like calms me, but I'm learning. I'm learning so much from them. And it's a good opportunity for you to learn things as well. Literally, maybe next time you're driving to work or driving to college or having a shower, just put your speaker on and just play the podcast or having a shit. <laughs> just start listening. Go on that walk and you just start listening to the podcast. Even at the gym, I will listen to this podcast of uh, the Andrew Huberman podcast or I'll listen to a Hamza Spotify video. And then five, purpose. However, I'm going to change this a little bit because purpose is hard. A lot of us don't know our purpose. If you believe you do, probably don't. Purpose is almost impossible to find out. What your true, and I mean true purpose is, deep down, your core desire, what you want to do in life. And when you are completing this purpose, this core desire, you're living the most fulfilled life possible, the most happiest life possible. Yeah, we don't know what our purpose is, but I'll give you the next best thing. Our purpose can change. Pursue a hobby of something that you're interested in right now. Something that you do, and when you do it, you are completely focused. You are completely invested and really interested. So, you're maybe, for example, it's tennis, right? You're like, oh, I'm getting really into tennis. I, I love it. I'm enjoying every minute of it. I want to do more. To the point where you're always thinking about it. Ah, oh, when's the next time I'm going to have my tennis lesson? I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to, I'm, you know, I'm going to practice with my dad. I'm just, just with, <laughs> may as well. I'm going to research and learn how to, how to play better. You get really good, you get good, you get better, you get better, and you start almost becoming addicted, and then it changes. Your purpose changes to something else. Maybe he starts getting into reading. I'm doing less tennis now, but I'm not as interested. But I've gone into this new book, Where the Superior Man. This is really good. I'm really enjoying the, the mindset behind things, the science behind stuff. Oh, maybe Atomic Habits. Ooh, maybe Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Ooh, maybe the book Get Shit Done. That's a good book, by the way. That's a really good book. You should definitely read that. Oh my God, I love reading. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna read all the time now. Your purpose can change. My purpose right now, the thing that I'm doing, completely invested in with no distractions, is making sure that other people like yourself avoid the mistakes that I made when I first started self-improvement. 
just wanting to better myself. So you can get to my stage where I am now so much faster than it took me. It took me two years to get where I am now, but you can get there in a couple months. Your purpose can change, so what you should do is just pursue that hobby, that something, that something that you are completely invested in and you have zero distractions. It doesn't take much effort at all to really get into it. You don't have to force yourself to like do it. You just enjoy it. Pursue that hobby. Pursue that purpose to the point where it changes and you start pursuing something else. Not only would this give you a sort of sense of satisfaction out of life, you'll get a great deal of satisfaction, but you end up living life in a very positive way. You start not thinking about all those things you're worried about. You start thinking about other things. The, that, that there is more to life. There is a lot more to life. And it kind of makes you sort of realize that some of the worries that you're worried about aren't so bad. That's it. Look, I hope this video helped you out. And I hope, I hope you're good. I hope things have been all right. And I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here. Because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. <laughs> you know what time it is? Yeah, come here. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.